Hello, and welcome to A Very Curious Place. Oh, we are doing a movie review. The, if you watched, saw the title of the video, you know what it is. We are doing a movie review of the movie Flu. It's about a pandemic in China. Too soon? Too, too soon? Too, too soon? I, we're doing it anyway, so what the heck? Um... <laughs> <laughs> if it's too soon, it's too soon, so, um, yeah, so this is a movie, and I will tell you right now, it is all subtitles, but I am a person that loves movies with subtitles, I, I just am, I love them, um, I just think they're great, some of my favorite shows have subtitles, um, and I've done reviews on some of them too, so, um, some other subtitled movies in my review list would be Dead Snow, um, Night Watch, or Day Watch. I think I did them both in the same one. And, um, yeah, so those are two of my favorites. Um, check them out. Um, but yeah, The Flu. Flu is set in China. Obviously, it's a Chinese movie. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce any of the names. I'm just not. I'm not good at that. Um, you know, this is a Netflix movie. Or was it a Netflix movie? Or was it a... I just got rid of my Netflix, so I'm trying to remember if I watched it on Netflix or on Amazon. It was either on Netflix or Amazon, but it was called Flu. Um, I will throw up a picture on the Instagram page um, with the posting about this video so that um, you'll have some pictures of it. Basically what this was is this was a pandemic that got loose in China in this area off to the side a smaller area and They kind of didn't take it seriously at first and They kind of just ha oh, ha, you know, no, no, it's fine. It's fine, you know and um, and then suddenly it came back to bite them in in the, in the tuchus and yeah, it just got out of control. And so then they tried to get it under control. And that's where everything just went straight to chaos. And um, the main characters in it are a doctor and her daughter and an emergency rescue worker who is apparently very interested in the doctor, and uh, but the doctor's just not having any of it. And normally I don't watch like movies that have any kind of like romance in them. But you know what? I, I kind of let it pass on this one because there wasn't really that much any kind of ro romance, really. I know. Spoiler. Um, because if I'm honest, the doctor was kind of rude. Um, and I kind of felt bad for the emergency uh, rescue worker. Um, she, she, he kinda, she was kind of mean to him, if I'm honest. But, um, but yeah, so it was just, it was kind of a good example of what happens when, you know, chaos and fear hit in something like this and the government takes it too far trying to get it under control. Too soon? Too soon? Just a little bit. I say from Texas that has just been told we have a mandatory mask order and if we don't wear them when we're out, we um, get fined. Yeah. I also say this as a person who went in the grocery store yesterday almost hyperventilated um, because of said mask. So, um, <laughs> um, maybe it is too soon. I don't know. But this is a movie that I found really interesting and I really did like it. And I think, I think it showed a lot about human nature. Um, things you don't think that people will ever do. It's like, no, people are smart. They would never do that. <laughs> You're cute. You're sweet. You're funny. You're not the brightest bulb in the box, but you're sweet and cute and funny. Um, <laughs> uh, all we have to do is turn on um, the internet nowadays to find out how far people are just going off to the left side. Just, just crazy. Just so, it is a good movie. I know most people don't like subtitles. Um, 
But you know what? I think this one is worth it. I, I think the movies that I put up and do reviews of, I don't just, you know, throw out just a whole bunch of random movies with subtitles. I watch a lot and I don't. Um, but I think that this one is one of the good ones. I usually try and only put up the really good ones. Um, this is one of the really good ones. Um, yeah, I, I really do. I think it's good. I think it's interesting. A um, little bit of gore, a little bit of violence. You know, I mean, come on. Walk out of your house and go to the grocery store and you get gore and violence. I mean, come on. Um, but I think it's worth a look. Um, and it is called Flu. I will post as much of the information as I can in the um, little info box below. Nats. Nats everywhere. And yeah, I really, you know, I really think it's something, you know, interesting for people to watch. I know a lot of places are still on either you're on still doing semi quarantine or you you're unemployed because of that or you're still on, you know, well, you're still on unemployment or trying to get back to normal. Kids are still out of school, you know, can't go do anything. So, you know what? Watch some movies. <laughs> But be cautious of your Netflix because my Netflix got hacked twice in one day. Twice. Not kidding. That is why I don't have Netflix anymore because it got hacked twice in one day. It took me an entire day to fix it. By the end of that, I just said cancel it and take everything out of your system that has anything to do with me. So be cautious. And yeah, I think that's about it. It's a good movie. I give it two thumbs up. Um, I found it really interesting. I'm not going to tell you any more about that because I don't like to do a lot of spoilers. So, from myself, Heather, and Grace, who ditched me and is in the house in the AC, smart dog, and a very curious place, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and most importantly, this is very important. Stay strange. Because normal is boring. It's nor it's normal boring. Flat out. It's just boring. Much love.